1878, the properties that made up La Negociación, Minera de Guadalupe Los Reyes, were registered in the notarial document, of the partition of assets of Pedro Echeguren's will, in 1877, who along with his brother, Francisco Echeguren and other members of the Iriart family, were the main partners from 1865. Among these were, the mines La Estaca, with a value of 1,200,000 pesos, La Reveladora, with a value of 500, and La Candelaria, with a value of 9,000. They also had the Prophet Haciendas, sweet names, 160,000 pesos, Dolores, 60,000, and Las Abas, 4,000. On the other hand, this mining company was divided into the drainage departments. Forge of Mines, Tinsmith Shop, Test, Carpentry, Turning, Mercury, Silver Foundry, Steam Engine Room, and a Warehouse. This beneficiatian system was applied for the first time in 1557, by Bartolomé de Medina, in Pachuca Hidalgo, and consisted of crushing the mineral stone, to which water was added, until it made a muddy mass, which was transported to the backyard of the hacienda, where it was extended. And copper sulfate and salt were added, to obtain silver chloride, to which quicksilver or mercury was added, to obtain metallic silver as a final result. Beginning in 1863, the brothers Pedro and Francisco Echeguren, Spanish merchants residing in Mastlan, entered as partners in Guadalupe Los Reyes, whose properties amounted to 1,233,000 pesos for 1877. However, for this last year, most of the shares were owned by the Echeguren family, as stipulated in Pedro Echeguren's will, and as evidenced by the reconstitution of the mining company in 1901. This reconstitution of the mining company, occurred from the dissolution of Francisco Echeguren, sister and nephews, and the division of him into the two commercial houses. Inheritors of Pedro Echeguren and Company, and Francisco Echeguren and Company, with a duration of 25 years, the reconstitution was perpetuated with the same capital of 300,000 pesos, and 10,000 shares. The main shareholders of the two commercial companies were Alejandro Lubet, Manuel Herrerias, and some members of the Iriart and Isabal families, with 78%, while others as a whole, held 22% of the shares. The board of directors of this negotiation, was made up of José Rico as president, Rodolfo Sedano, son-in-law of Concepción Echeguren, as first member, and Pedro Echeguren Herrerias, son of Francisco Echeguren, as second member. In 1926, the mining company once again postponed its dissolution for another 25 years, maintaining the same capital of 300,000 pesos, divided into 10,000 registered shares, of which 70% continued to be owned by the Echeguren family. But now, their heirs they were represented individually. Thus, Manuela, Concepcion and Agustina Echeguren, who were married to French nobles, held 39% of the shares. For his part, Francisco Echeguren and his sons, Isabel and Antonio, own 31%. Likewise, new partners such as Ernesto Lorda, Federico Unger and Gennaro Garcia joined. This structure of owners was maintained until its final dissolution in 1947. However, in 1936, the mining company was leased to its workers and the Society of Workers, of Guadalupe Los Reyes was formed, which exploited it and administered it until its disappearance. Music